was like it used to be Sipping wine, killing time Trying to solve life's mysteries How's your life? It's been a while God, it's good to see you smile I see you reaching for your keys Looking for me You know, I just wanted to be one of those in-state kids that went to their school, you know, just representing their state uh, for them, for the fans, just to go out there and show, show my all. I think what's so special about basketball in State of Indiana is this is where it grew up. It's just a different breed of basketball player. I mean, I don't know whether it's a skill set, mindset. Uh, it's just something different about uh, Indiana players. I know, you know, me being a freshman, we're all getting tired out there, and you know, the teammates are helping us, just telling us to keep our mind right and go through the workouts. But uh, I feel like uh, with time, we'll get a lot of that, you know, under our belt, and we'll be okay. You know, he's just kind of saying, uh, you know, we got a lot of work to do for those guys that will still be here. And, uh, you know, for those guys that are leaving, uh, you know, I just wish them the best of luck. And he feels like, uh, you know, everyone that is leaving is uh, going to be able to play somewhere uh, professionally. So, uh, you know, coach is just kind of, uh, you know, trying to, you know, look forward and uh, see, you know, things get work on. You know, I have expectations for myself. I have goals. I have dreams. Everybody has dreams, but I mean, you know, if I fail at that, then, you know, that's probably my biggest fear. And as brothers, as a family, um, we really I think basketball has taught me that, you know, you always can't win. So, I mean, if you fail, you just got to get back right back up, uh, stand on your 10 toes, and just get right back at it. What excites me about the future is what our team can become. Uh, I think we're really special, and I mean, the future's bright for us. I guess being a Hoosier is, you know, having blood, sweat, and tears. Whether you win or lose, you're still gonna be known as a Hoosier. Two players on the IU basketball team were also arrested for underage drinking and presenting fake IDs. Both Yogi Ferrell and Stanford Robinson, though, were no-shows at today's court date. Team 45, my parents gave me one bit of advice. Behave yourself. The kids today don't know what that means. It meant everything to me. It's that lesson the 87-year-old came to the courthouse to share with 20-year-old Kevin Yogi Farrell and 18-year-old Stanford Robinson after hearing about their charges. I was absolutely positively floored. basketball team have let down our fans, family, and friends, and those before that have made Indian basketball what they are today. We are embarrassed by our actions. Even I have made mistakes, and I've owned up to those mistakes. And me being a leader of the team, I have to hold guys more accountable to their actions and what those actions can do to this program. Coach Creed has emphasized to us, you know, that the decisions that we make have to be good decisions. And us being adults, we've made bad adult decisions, and we have taken full responsibility for these actions. You know, now that these actions have came out, you know, now that we want to do, we just want to go out there and play basketball. I'm 
I'm Kevin Yogi Farrell, and it's my last senior year. It's bittersweet. It's been a great four years here, so I'm trying to make this last one a special one. So I'm gonna need y'all there for me every single night, making it a special one for you guys. I'm Kevin Yogi Farrell, and I'm in. I think I'm a very vocal leader, aggressive. You know, I've been here the longest, so I mean, I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna get on guys, and just so they know, like, this is how it has to be in order for us to win. I say the root cause is our entire team ourselves. You know, it has nothing to do with the coaching staff. The coaching staff is great. Uh, they get us ready for each game, prepare us as much as they can. You know, with the, I feel like it's just with the team. You know, we don't hold each other accountable. You know, coaches always tells us we got to make sure our brothers. You know, we got to hold our, have each other's backs. Basically, you know, I feel like we haven't been doing that. We'll be looking here. Woodbury has checked out. Oh, got him wide open. My hitter job for the tie. Now, and Indiana has won the outright Big Ten championship. 2016, a banner year in Bloomington as the Hoosiers come on the road and secure their 22nd Big Ten title. They're Big Ten champions. When we're together, we can come out and win big games like this for our team. They are one of the great stories this college basketball season. They are the Indiana Hoosiers, their senior Yogi Ferrell. Uh, a huge reason why they've completely turned their season around. They won the Big Ten outright last night in Iowa. Yogi, thanks for stopping by. It's their senior night last night in Iowa. Uh, you guys have let a lead slip away, and the building's going nuts, and then you hit a huge shot, and you win. And in that locker room, it looked like it was just... Take, tell me, take me in that locker room, and, and what's that scene like after you guys win? Well, when I walked in, everybody wasn't cheering at first, so I was a little bit confused. That's why everybody was so quiet. But then uh, they said that they wanted to surprise Coach Green, you know, throw water everywhere. Um, but, you know, when Coach Green came in, everybody just went nuts and just went crazy. And we were just all excited for our team, excited for our coach, the way he stayed with us throughout the entire year, you know, never giving up on us, uh, keeping the attack for us, keeping the energy up for our team. And, um, you know, just the way he's been leading us uh, to victory. Yogi, at the beginning of the season, man, after Maui, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I thought you guys might be in for a rough year. You guys weren't guarding. You have a big injury. And it looked like the season could have gone off the rails. And now here you guys are as hot as anyone in the country. What happened? How did it happen? Uh, I felt, you know, we buckled down. We definitely got in the film room and watched extra film on our own as a team. I think that was the biggest part to our success is the way that we prepare so well together. And just like connectivity off the court, you know, I feel like it's transitioning onto the court. Oh, you know, still got to make the memories count. I just want to point out, because I don't know if you're aware of this based on the games you played last year against my beloved Turks, you're allowed to miss a three-pointer. Like, you're allowed to miss, man. I swear <laughs> to God, I don't think you missed a three last year. I'm just telling you, it's okay to miss one, Yogi. You, you, people still love you. You're allowed to miss. You, are we good? You understand me? <laughs> Ah, I don't know about that, man. I gotta knock it down. I got to. I'm like at least one man. Uh, players played for some pain this year. Jawan Morgan, freshman at 6'7. Well, he and Ananobi have done a nice job. There's the record for Farrell on the assist to Max Bielfeld. And Yogi Farrell is the all time Indiana assist king. That hard work pay off, don't it? Plus, it feel good when you can say you own it. No rent, lease, loan, or mortgage. There's no reason whatsoever that he shouldn't be appreciated to the highest level. He came in a winner from high school. He was a winner and a champion his freshman year. He's leaving his senior year as a winner. He's got nothing but better, nothing but better, day in and day out here. Day in and day out. Is he took that competitiveness, he took that headstrong, he took that intelligence, and he matched it up with an unyielding and unprecedented work ethic. And he carried his team with him. And he carried his coaches with him. 
and he made them better every day, every day, every day. And along the way, he got a lot better because of it. So maybe he's unappreciated in certain areas, but there's gonna be an NBA team that's gonna take him and they're gonna appreciate him just like you did. I'm a little short, I'm sorry. They say I left one. You know, I basically did everything I, I could to try and just be known as Yogi the winner. Uh, you know, when I committed here my junior year, you know, I remember sitting back in one of those rooms with my dad. And, you know, my dad told Coach Green, you know, make sure you take care of my son. And I feel like Coach Green has done that. And, you know, it's definitely been a fun ride with Coach Green. Um, you know, he's a special coach. I've done this a lot of years. I wouldn't trade him for anyone in the country. Not anyone. Kevin Yogi Farrell. <laughs> 